So guys, welcome to this episode of Best Sellers in the Gundam Webshop. Today I have picked out 10 pieces of Gunpla kits that historically are the most sold kits in the web shop since the beginning of time. One kit could not make it because I simply don't have any more of it and I can't remember what place it had but the PG Unleashed is one of the most sold kits at Gundam Store DK. Now that itself is pretty crazy because it's an expensive kit and it uh, is very hard to come by. I managed though, so more than 100 people, I can't remember how many, actually got this kit. So these uh, kits are randomly picked when I show you. They are not uh, shown in the order of which kit was sold the most, just popular kits. <clears throat> Another thing that might be a bit tricky is that some of them have been on the market longer than others. Uh, so they have, of course, had a chance to sell a lot more. Uh, and some of them have not, so that might change. But nevertheless, since the beginning of the web shop in November 19, these are the 10 kits that are the most sold ones. So I'm just going to start from an end. From an end. Gundam Ariel, and the fun thing is, this is the newest one of the 10, but since the pricing is very good, um, Bandai really made a good pricing on this kit. It has been ripped from the shelves ever since it came. Now it seems like the market has been fed up a bit. I still have quite a few left. Uh, I had to go get restocks all kinds of places. Gundam Ariel in the high grade, definitely worth a buy if you have not bought it. And that is actually the only high grade on the list. The rest is rear grades or master grades. Now another kit is the beautiful master grade Gundam Zero EV. EW, the wing zero, with the beautiful wings. I actually built this one in real grade myself. I have definitely thought about building it in the master grade, but have had so little time that I have actually not built that much in this stack. I actually only built two of them. That says a little about me. A few of them I have different stories on. But the next one is the real great Gundam New. And this one, I've sold so many of this one. When this one came out, it got so many good reviews. And uh, it's also a, a big kit. Uh, the Gundam New is very, very tall. And it's the counterpart of the next kit that is also one of the most sold ones. This one is one of my favorites in the Master Grade, but it's quite expensive, so we haven't sold that many of it in Master Grade. But the Master Grade is also a very, very nice and sturdy kit. So let's just go into the counterpart. The real grade Sasabi. Not only does the artwork look awesome, but so does the finished kit. And the build is amazing on this one as well. Those two beside each other when they're built are masterpieces. And therefore they are of course on the list of the top 10 best selling kits at Gundam Store DK. Next one off is probably the most, I'm not quite sure if the most sold one actually, the next one might take that place. But it's a very, very, very close one. Um, let's get rid of that. Sorry, we're commercials on YouTube. Who wants that? Who wants to get monetized on YouTube? 
not me. Or do I? This one has got gotten so many good reviews as well. It's also a huge kit for a master grade. It is very, very bulky. There is a lot more color separation on this one than on the master grade, which I have built and I loved as well. The funnel water slide decals was a nightmare, but I managed anyway. Not the same problem with this one. I mean, take a look at it. Doesn't get much better than that. Next one, probably the most so one, the MG Barbatos. Now, of those of you who have followed me knows that when I started the web shop, the pre-orders for this had just ended, so I never got a hold of them in the beginning of the first batches in Europe. So I had to wait for more than a year and all the people that discovered my web shop asked for this kit. It was a nightmare because I just knew I was missing out on sales. There has been some long breaks uh, between the productions of this kit and um, now I finally stacked a huge load up of these just in case now we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. Um, I don't want to take any chances. Next one off is one of the ones that I have built. The Master, Ga Master Grade Freedom 2.0. This beast is just a joyful build as the artwork is amazing. I built it in the Gundam base um, silver version. So it had an, a different kind of coating. It was practically all, only silver. I like the original one as well. Very sturdy build, very solid, very joyful. Looks amazing when the wings are all folded out. I had no issue with it whatsoever. I just took my time with it and enjoyed it. And uh, the finished one looks great. Another one. This is also a master grade. The Dynamis. This good old bad boy has also gotten so many awesome reviews. And uh, it's not because it's that old. I mean, it's a 19 kit, but it should be an amazing build. I haven't built it myself, but I saw a huge load of these. Um, and it seems like uh, the market again has, has been slowing down a bit because I still have them in stock. But then again, I am known for having all kinds of stuff in stock that other people can't get. And this might be one of them as well. The Master Grade Extreme. Of the Strike Freedom Gundam, it managed to get on the list of the most sold kits in my web store, web store, web shop, um, with such a short lifespan. I mean, it's not that long ago, I think I got the first 12 and that's like nothing. Then I got 60 and I had 25 of them on pre-order, I believe besides the first 12 that I actually sold. And um, then they're all gone. Very fast, they were all gone. I still have uh, more because I got another batch. So um, that was awesome. And, uh, and uh, new master grades like the Seda might be on this list in a few months. I, you never know, but, but right now it hasn't made it because um, we haven't been able to sell as many in such a short notice because you haven't had it in the store for a very long time. The last one is the biggest box of them all. Now, I was very surprised once I got an invoice from a distributor that told me I have 33 pieces of this one. And they lasted, I'm not quite sure, maybe two months or something. And then they were gone. I just got another batch. The MG Sasabi. Verka. I am 
a fan of master grades. I practically only build master grades. I have been thinking about going down to a high grades because I don't have as much time anymore. And also to show people with small reviews that old kits, simple kits, can still be cool and great and don't have to be bad because they're old. Um, it all depends on your skill as a model builder. That was my thought. This one I wanted to build since I discovered Gundam. I never did it because each time I got them, <clears throat> I took one aside from stock and thought this one is going to be built. Um, each time they were sold out quite fast and people were writing me, are you sure you can't get another one? And uh, I always ended up selling the customers my own kit. Three times or four times this has happened. I know it is three times. Should I keep one for myself this time? Well, it depends. If I'm low on time and I think I might reach a point where I could get another batch, I will of course sell my own one because it doesn't make sense for me to have this in the backlog. If I can sell it, the shop needs sales at the moment. It needs sales. And one of the reasons, guys, is that my other business is declining a bit. Uh, so we, we will need sales to be able to take some salary out of the web store. And that will take a huge amount of extra sales for that to be a realization. That was the 10 most sold kits in the web store. I have not um, taken it as products because we of course sold more uh, crocodile beaks than we sold kits. We sold more panel liners and stuff, but I actually have some kits I sold more pa uh, kits of than panel liners. Uh, most selling tools in the store could be up for the next video. If you would like to uh, have something else to be shown or know some stuff about in the video, just write in the comments. It's easy for me to, to, to do. Um, some of you want to walk around in the warehouse. I actually did that a lot of times. If you need another updated fresh video, I can make one of those. Normally I do it when there's new stuff to show. So if you want to see the most selling tools, um, my own setup, uh, the, 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 how I built kits my way, I actually made a video of that as well, I think, uh, or whatever. Ideas are welcome and I will make a video of it. This was just uh, for fun. So you can see this is both a way to measure. You probably bought a lot of these yourself. If not, uh, they're kind of a white label of... Uh, it doesn't name white label, does it? Well, it's a proof of concept of that these kits are not bad because we sell so many of them. Probably due to reviews as well. And... Uh, it's both good and bad with reviews because sometimes kids don't get the attention they need because they get a bad review. It's almost like, you know, the food reviewer that can go into a restaurant, eat food, write in the, a review in a newspaper and the restaurant has to close. I mean, some reviewers have so much power over specific things that it almost hurts. So I almost have to try some of the kits that has really bad reviews and get my take of it. Some of it are of course true and some of it is just not true, I think. Some of it might be because you're also too violent with the kits or you can be unlucky and get a bad kit. That's just how it is. It is plastic. It can move around. It can be warped. It can be affected by heat and stuff. I think it's very minimal um, that we have bad batches but of course it can happen so that's it this video was just for fun if you like more of this kind of content as i already mentioned i am very close to thinking about doing some kind of streams with a live stream or something where people can ask me questions or you know we can set up some polls or show me your builds show me your setup stuff and i can comment on it on it just like the gamers do i think it could be cozy because our community is just as great as all the others 
So let's try something new. I just found out that that might be something that could work for my shop. Until next time, guys. Um, today's Friday. I'm going to enjoy my weekend. Maybe build a little. Maybe uh, discord a little. Uh, last weekend we had a very nice session to way past midnight. It was pretty cozy. I like that. Um, so take care. Have a nice weekend. And I will see you soon, guys. Bye.